So let's just get started by if you can tell me your name and uh, a bit about your background. Yeah, so my name is Brandon Ramos. Um, my background is computer engineering. I have both my bachelor's and master's uh, in the US in uh, computer engineering. Um, I've been interested in uh, VLSI for uh, quite some time now. Uh, a little bit in my bachelor's, I took some classes and that's kind of where I got started watching your videos. Um, but it wasn't until I was getting my master's where I started taking the digital course. Um, and that's what uh, I've been doing ever since is getting involved with the community and uh, making designs. And what made you want to do the analog course? Uh, I was pretty interested on uh, how like well thought out the digital course was. And with the analog portion coming in, um, I wanted to see how you're going to do the, the mixed signal course. So I had some designs and at the time I was learning uh, a little bit about the EKG model uh, in my master's. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to you know make some projects with that. But uh, in, the, in the analog course, I ended up just going with a, um, a analog to digital converter. Nice. So what, uh, what part of the course did you enjoy the most? I think the most enjoyable part of the course was the layout and magic. And I, I feel like some people would say that was probably the least favorite, <laughs> but, uh, you know, just trying to figure out like the DRC errors. And, uh, I guess some, sometimes I got the layout just right, but otherwise I'd have to go back to the like sub cells and fix those. Mm. Uh, I just thought it was interesting to see, you know, what couldn't be too close and, you know, how all those DRC errors, uh, I guess were interlaid together to you know make something that was working once you you know shipped it out uh, to be made in silicon. Yeah, it's a bit like silicon Tetris, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, which part of the course was most valuable for you? I think honestly, the entire thing was valuable. Um, before I joined the course, even like with the digital portion of it, I was trying to learn how to. Uh, you know, gather all of the like open source software just to do this. And there wasn't a lot of documentation on it. And even though I did get things uh, running, it just wasn't working out for me because it's just, I guess, too much, uh, you know, getting into it, uh, you know, coming from like hardly knowing anything about it. So with the course, it just made it really easy to know, like, this is like this course um, will teach you about this. And if you want to make a digital portion, you just need some, you know, layer log knowledge and you can get it sent out. Uh, so I thought that was really valuable. Did you go for the manual install or did you use a VM? Uh, I did both. I had a old computer that I did the manual install, uh, but I think <laughs> I only used it for like a month or so. And then I just used the VM. Hmm. VM's nice and easy, isn't it? It is very easy. Yeah. Would you recommend this course to other people? Yeah, of course. Um, I have some friends that were interested in what I was doing at the time uh, for the digital course. So uh, while I was working on that, I was telling them about uh, your course and you know, like how you can get involved. And I think some of them are, you know, taking a look at it as an interest. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely do um, think people should get involved with this. Great. Thanks for the recommendation. Can you tell us a bit about your A to D? So this here is my op amp letter for the uh, two bits flash ADC. Um, I just used uh, just a generic um, uh, voltage divider of a thousand ohms on each one of these uh, resistors. Uh, and although the op amp isn't uh, ideal, I will see a little bit of a loss at node three, which I'll show later. Uh, but just to get everything working and sent out the TTO uh, 9, I went ahead and uh, just went with this design. Um, I can go ahead and I can also show a couple of other things as well. Uh, give me a second. Uh, here's my op amp uh, ladder test bench, which uh, shows the uh, simulation and the uh, parasitic uh, simulation. Um, up at the top is the simulation and at the bottom is the parasitic and just the differences on the right side. Um, looks like the, uh, with the voltage sweep, it does go a little bit more, uh, forward with the parasitic, but in all, it should be, uh, pretty similar with the, uh, layout ex extraction. Nice. So go ahead and do you, would you like me to also show the, uh, magic layouts? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Especially as that's your favorite part. 
Oh, cool. You got a, lo you got a logo in there as well. Great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was testing that out a little bit with the yeah. GDS art. Nice. Um, yeah, so I, I have my analog portion here at the bottom. Um, just go ahead and show that there. So uh, I have the output zero through one, starting from the right to left, uh, my analog. I only have one analog input here. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, I do have a really small um, combinational uh, logic in the digital portion that outputs to two bits. Uh, let's see here. Nice. So do you plan to upgrade this for a future tape outs? Um, I do at least plan to update this and may, uh, work on some other projects. Um, it just depends if I work on something big enough that I might tape, tape out to uh, TTO 10. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, so, uh, some of the stuff I have currently is a work in progress, uh, but I do look to uh, maybe tape out in the future um, shuttles. Nice. Great. Okay. Um, so I'll uh, just finish off here. So um, is there any other closing words or closing thoughts you have for us? I think the community that we have is really great, um, especially with the Discord server. I honestly haven't really had any problems with, uh, you know, getting stuck and uh, just having that roadblock be there for more than, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, with the community uh, being able to help out and, you know, solve some problems that I run into, especially with the beta course of the analog, uh, the analog portion. Um, it was it was super friendly in the Discord, and I was able to get help. You know, pretty much with like a day turnaround. Good, great to hear that. Okay, well, thanks very much for your time, Brandon, uh, and I'm glad you enjoyed the course. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.